Sugar Collective. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate them all. Let's tap in. Let's get a message for you guys. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So the messages may or may not resonate with you. Take the messages that resonate with you, your personal situations, and leave the rest. <clears throat> Somebody is saying something that's bad karma. <sighs> Holy Spirit, yeah, because somebody doing too much. <laughs> and they could be getting bad karma. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit. What is the message? What's the overall energy, please? Overall energy, please. Wish granted in the reverse. <laughs> okay. So somebody wishes and granted. Somebody that was doing too much. Okay. So it's giving like a backfire. Wish granted in the reverse. Somebody was maybe because somebody was doing too much. Yeah. They feel like a dumbass. Cause maybe. An empress in the reverse is listening to somebody's intuition or they listen to the intuition that they were seen and that's why somebody know bad luck is coming all right maybe towards them here because an occultist want to be fair when it comes to an earth angel okay they're shocked that somebody wanted to be fair in that situation confirmation so their wishes isn't being granted. Wish in the reverse. High honor. Gift. Wow. Somebody felt like this is somebody this is somebody wish not being granted because you're being held in high honor. Somebody has clarity about a letter or a message about an older woman in a marriage in the main mail. Wanting to call some sort of oh wow. So somebody could be telling on somebody. Yeah, because they had, somebody has gotten a clarity about a letter, maybe from a letter, text message, email, video message, something. They heard about an older woman that, in a couple or something like that, or an older woman that joined together with a main male to cause an ending to someone in someone's family or in their home, their stability, and they getting sad news. All right, which is putting the older gentleman in gloomy thoughts because they wanted a return on their investments. But there's some sort of, they're going to be blocked out of something, privacy. Somebody not going to be able to see something. The privacy of a rich lady could cause them legal problems or somebody could be trying to invade your privacy. Somebody keep uh, maybe making alliances to invade your privacy or something like that. Something like that. So you could be even well aware of something that you don't care or something like that. And you shouldn't. You're good. Yeah, because somebody could be like Autumn was their last chance to do something corrupt or something like that. Yeah, to cause drama for you, glamour somebody, whatever. Autumn was their last chance to do something. Because now, because something could be coming to an end where it's like how it used to be. It's not going to be like that anymore. They've been thinking of all kind of ideas to cause drama, do weird stuff to you. Somebody could be a real estate investor because the person I saw in my mind's eye, somebody could have fired, they could have fired or is, did fire a uh, investor that they worked with or something like that. And they want revenge. So they could be like after like, like say this is weird, but I don't know, like say if somebody worked with someone and like they have a business say you are uh you own different properties or something like that and the person that you worked with uh you don't work with that person anymore but they need to the work so they're trying to cause friction for them to get work again but 
it's like getting someone like, oh, I like that house. Okay, let's check out the neighbors, see what they think. Uh, how do they feel about this person at, at, at that house or whatever? And then they are enacting some drama so that you'll be like, you know what? I just can't take it anymore. I'm leaving so that they can sell something or so that they can get hired for something again or something like that. Yeah, and it just is not working or something like that. I'll watch over you. Somebody, you're being protected here from these this, this person's many ideas. They have like all these ideas to, to cause somebody problems or something. But you're being protected. Or they had all these ideas, I should say. But there could be problems because somebody's catching wind of something now. And maybe that was unexpected. Yeah, so somebody going to have to make a decision. They feel like they made too many mistakes because... It's like somebody keep getting caught doing something or, you know, like, like, yeah, did you hear about such and such or like catching wind or somebody could actually had somebody watch to see something and yeah. Okay. Somebody knows that you're going to get karmic justice because you're an earth angel or something like that. Oh. Wow. There's going to be a clear solution for this. An elder is going to teach you something. Wow. Yeah, 2025 could be significant. 24, 25, okay. Yeah, so there's a clear solution for all of this. Something has been transmuted to the spiritual realm, or you have found a clear solution. And yeah, so you, you're good. Take care of yourself. Like I was saying, there's like nothing to worry about, but you know, this is just what was going on. Somebody could be now trying to heed wise cancel right now. Because whatever they were doing, you found a clear solution. Whatever elder taught you something, how to transmute something, you did that. So you're good. Yeah, so now they're trying to find wise counsel because this sewer maiden has to be brave. It's time for them to be brave. Yeah, wow. Somebody could have been casted out and abandoned, feeling like casted out now. And there's going to be some healing here, rapid improvement or something like that. Yeah, because this is somebody that was holding on to something way too tight. Yeah, and they were overly committed in something. And, you know, maybe to feel important or to feel a part of something or whatever that is. Okay. Hmm. I don't want to make it long. It's going to be a quick late night read for my collective. <sighs> Let's see what you need to know. What do you need to know? Uh, so whoever that person is, maybe they're the person that's held in high honor. Their wishes isn't being granted because they're doing too much. Like, they could be even trying to use their... I'm hearing military backing or some sort of authority. Like, and they're still not getting what they want. And they're very frustrated. Okay. Hmm. I heard they did everything but burn pitchforks on your property. So they can't escape something here. We got to escape. What else? That is so funny. But that's not funny. But that, what they said, it was funny how they said it. Because they've been doing a lot to you guys or something. Somebody's been doing a hell of a lot. Yeah. This person can't escape from something here. Or they never experienced something here. They could be, they really, really like, yo, I got to let it go. They really got to let something go and ride something out. Okay, water in the reverse. We got trickster in the upright and obsession. Yeah, this person is hella obsessed to playing some sort of game curse. Oh my. So somebody's paying to the paying attention to the details of something. They maybe tried to curse someone. Paying attention to the details of a curse that they did. Alright. Whoa. Somebody tried to curse y'all. That's crazy as shit. Like I said, this could be workplace, situation, family, friends, whatever. Take these messages as it resonates, y'all. All 
All right. But this just feels like somebody that was just doing too much. Just because they was held in high honor, their wishes isn't even getting granted. Okay, for whatever. Yeah, because somebody is starting to pay attention to the details of something, even a foundation or something like that. The details are the key, the trees. So somebody's paying attention to the details. It's like a total filtered reality. Pay attention to the trees. Something is a total filtered reality. So something ain't even what it seems. Something could be all smoke and mirrors or something like that. That's what I'm getting with that. We got curse. Steer clear of this curse. Whatever this is. It's a bad outcome and a curse. The hell? No good can come of this. Still steer clear. Pay attention to the details. Somebody is watching the way something is going down. A filtered reality. Because something was made up or falsified in the first place. Why somebody was doing something. Somebody know no good is going to come out of something. Steer clear. So they feel like they got to be careful of a trickster maybe. Well, who's the trickster? Be mindful of manipulation at this in pro, as you proceed. Yeah. Maybe because you're extra mindful of manipulation or no good. Yeah, because maybe the curse has something to do with someone being able to manipulate you, to maybe to put you in your feelings or even have an emotional outburst or lose it or something like that. But that water in the reverse, you didn't do that. They never saw this before. So that means that you get to escape or you get to get away from they get you get to go away or walk away from something or what? Because something was like um old wise tale or like whatever somebody was doing, something was like made up. State the details is something in the curse. The details is in the curse. The curse could have had a lot to do with manipulation. Hmm. What's the water? Well, well, what have we here? You are steering clear of manipulation and they like, well, well, look, what, like, what have we here? Experience in the reverse? Hmm. Instinct can be its own reward. Let yourself daydream. Instinct can be its own reward. Let yourself daydream. Because the glamour, we've seen glamour and drama... Something, it, it's not what it seems. Like, whatever the curse is, it entails, like, a lot of manipulation. Because somebody's paying attention to the details. The trees. The details of a curse. The details of a curse. Had a lot to do with tricking you. Drama, glamour. But you are staring clear of manipulation. It's hard to manipulate you right now. At this time of your journey or something like that. And they like, ain't that something? Because you was always easily manipulated at some point of your journey. They never seen this before. So they're paying attention like, so if the person doesn't follow along with such and such, it don't work. Or something like that. The water. You could be in control of your own emotion. You're hard to manipulate. Like lure you in. 
with something. Maybe because you're very, you're non-emotional or something. Like I said, like I was feeling like you can care less. Whatever somebody is doing, it's like so. If somebody's trying to make you at work, if you're at work, they're watching you and trying to make your environment feel weird or whatever this is, you don't care. <laughs> like, okay. Hey, like, ain't that something? They don't, they're not even scared. Like, something has to do with you being a, a like, oh, like, oh, like that, that, that knee jerk feeling. Like, you're a little nervous. Like, you can, you can care less. You, yeah, you can care less, whatever. It's like, I'm coming to get you. Okay. Well, come get me. Nobody show up. They like, so I don't, I don't know. Somebody want to know, how are you still emotionally balanced? That's what I'm getting. Because somebody's checking your temperature as they do something. And your emotions is in check. That's what I'm hearing right now from you guys about somebody's emotions is in check. You don't care what somebody doing. Okay. They didn't expect that. With that experience in a reverse. Hmm. You're you're listening to your instincts, not a projection. You're trusting your instinct. You know if it's danger, you're gonna feel it in your gut. You would feel if something was a problem or there was danger afoot or something. And despite whatever projection somebody is projecting, you can care less. The danger actually would have to be in your face, like happening in real time for somebody to care about something and somebody don't want to go to jail. So that'll never happen. So whatever this is, I don't, so it got something to do with magic. Apparently you're doing however you are, you're, you're taking good care of yourself or whatever. Somebody trying to figure out how they can get out of something. Maybe now I don't. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Yo. Somebody is like trying to make you feel a certain way collective. And they about to play the victim, whoever this is. A fake spiritualist or something like that. They know that you're protected. When you know you're protected, why would you be afraid of anything outside of you? That's why a hex don't work. That hex, that curse doesn't work at all. They can't hex or curse you. You're protected. Spying on you every day in the reverse. Someone spying on you is a part of their daily routine. Not no more. Because the hex isn't working. Okay, so what happens? You know how when people feel like, oh my gosh, it's dangerous. Somebody watching me, I'm scared, I'm nervous, or something like that. That's the energy somebody wanted you in, but you're not in that energy. And they like, what the fuck, yo? Are you, what are you? What is this? Maybe you were easily scared before or easily to, you know, shake up or something. Yeah. So somebody's no longer spying on you here. So they could have went to resort into a spread in a rumor. Or the person that was spreading rumors is no longer spying on you no more. Yeah, this is definitely a narcissist. So, oh, okay, because you're an empath. Okay, 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 okay. Because they know you're an empath. They know you're nice and loving and sweet. Right? They do. Yeah. But they want to know what's behind that, that energy now. Because you're not scared. Most people that's nice, loving, and sweet is easily scared and startled. Like, oh my God, is that a bump at the night? Oh my God, is that somebody at my door? Is that, oh my God, you would be in that energy. But you're not. You like come to the door. And they like, well, well, well. <laughs> what do we have here? Because <laughs> you're so calm and everything. They like, look at this shit. Huh. So take care of yourself maybe for them. They need to take care of themselves. And be careful of being manipulated by somebody that's cursed. They need to pay attention. They need to look at the details of something right now. Because you're not under anyone's control. 
So it's safe for you to daydream and just have a, you know, a good sense of life, whatever this is. They never seen this before. Hmm. It's like you're doing your due diligence, you're doing your regular. Something isn't working anymore. So this is even giving that card of being bullied to the point of no return. It's like when you constantly do, do they not know that repetition, repetition, what happens when you constantly do something over and over and over and over and over, it loses its shock factor, right? So if somebody's been doing something to y'all over and over and over and over and over, back to back to back to back to back to back to back, it didn't even give you any time, right? Oh, I know why they was doing, okay. So what I'm getting is, because this is a narcissist. So what I'm getting is, they did it over and over and over because they thought that it would build up the potency when in all actuality, they didn't pay attention to the details of who you are. Now, if you have a different body chemistry or makeup when it comes to fear, right? Stuff don't be, you don't be afraid of stuff anymore. You went you something was done to you so much of this lifetime that you, you surpassed their range of fear. The normal, what everybody else would like fear or something. So you don't have that, that, that in you no more. It went past it till it's, it's no more. It's numb. You are in the energy, like whatever happens, happens. You have made your peace with everything in life. Oh shit. Maybe that's what they're worried about. Because a person that hasn't made their peace in life. If a person, this is like, y'all can really like, this is real like psychological energy here. If a person never made peace in life, they will fear everything. Right? You listen to your instincts or you're cautious. You're no longer fear-based. Somebody's worried about that. Oh shit, collective. Okay. So that's why they feel like they fucked up because they did something too much. So it's no more shock factor. It's it's expected. Like how you going how you gonna catch somebody off guard when they watch when they always look at it's it's expected. And autumn was their last chance. So maybe that's why they tried to hurry up and put more pressure on something, but it still it it was already ran out. Maybe a while ago or something. Somebody's trying to figure out what happened to you, well, over the years or how you changed, yo. The woods is in the reverse. So, you, they need to pay attention to the details. What's the details here? Wow, y'all. What's the details? I'm like, real quick, look. What's the woods in the reverse? The details. I can't. This is the details. They literally, you are empath, but they altered your life's values, morals, and decisions. Look, and when I say values here, they alter your life values, how you see things. Now, somebody's paying attention to that. Because they know they did something to the point where of no return. And it changed you. It changed your chemic, your, your DNA makeup or something. That's different. Something changed you deeply. Like you're not even the same person no more. Somebody said they should have known when you was outspoken. You you could be more outspoken. Wow. Something caused you to lose your appetite to something. Them altering your values caused you to lose your appetite. And you will witness their karma. They like, yo. Somebody can't believe this shit. From them causing a lot of chaos in your love life. So where does fear come from? 
emotion. Duh. You don't love the same. You don't feel the same. So if, if like at this point in somebody's journey, they know if you even love somebody, they better cherish it because it'll, you'll get cold quickly. And it's like, it really wouldn't be there. Somebody is scared of that. I don't know why that's a big thing. They thought that they was just causing you this problem because you wasn't paying them no mind, but, or you're not, they caused you problems in your love life and you don't care. They like, yo. Like, you're not going to chase me a little bit. They got 24 hours. They got one good time to not be consistent with whoever this is. It's over. I'm not, I'm not interested no more. I don't give a fuck how good you look, what you got going on. Somebody is seeing it and gets the time is getting shorter now. Somebody feel like, yo, what the fuck did we do, yo? Because if this, if something that somebody did to you when it came to a contract and all was always based on your emotions and how they would be able to manipulate them, they screwed the pooch. They altered your, who you are as a person. It's like that. You ever seen fear factor where somebody be scared to damn near death? Now somebody literally isn't even scared of death. Like, he's like, yeah, I'm coming for you. Okay. Well, I'll make my peace with the world. And it is what it is. That's scary to somebody because something about your energy, that, that is something about the energy they need from you. You don't, you're not giving it. So something was pointless. It's like they, it's like a, now, now as I'm looking at this light bulb, it's like a fuse blew when it came to you. It's like they blew a fuse in you. That's beyond repair. It's like, so when did the fuse blow? What the fuck? When did that happen? Because that's how they feed off of uh, empaths. So they burnt the empath out. And it caused you to lose their appetite. But this is their karma though. They could have did something too much. This is like somebody leaving somebody on red too much. You know, you're not even. <sighs> it's that energy. You being single for a long time. Eh, you know, I'd rather be like, it's some sort of energy like that, yo. And it's like, yo, what the fuck do we do now? How can we turn this around? We can't love Bob them. You know, they're going to push us away now. So you could be pushing people away. You're not even interested. It's like, oh, he look like usually, you know, when somebody look good. It's like, oh, he look good. And so, with you, you don't even give a fuck. That's not what they wanted to do. I just want you to know that. <laughs> it's not. Because how they going to play this game if you don't even give a fuck? Damn it. That's how somebody feel. Cause you to lose your appetite. What caused them to, yeah, they, them altering your values cause you to lose your appetite. An air sign. Could be for an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could be having unexpected body whelps and scratches now all over them. They could be trying to stay away from toxicity. Even though you cut this person off, they still watch you, okay? And they be talking hella shit about you to people. Because they are having a lot of problems making money right now. Or even money decisions. Because they was claiming that they, did, they was this and that. And now they're having a lot of body pains and numbness, child. Wow. So whatever somebody did, they're looking at the details now. On way, what altering your decisions made you lose your appetite for an air sign? Doing something to you. It was like the straw that broke the camel's back. Could be a water sign, air sign, water sign, water. Reverse. So this could be an air sign in the reverse, a water sign in the reverse. They hate your creative ideas and the money that you make. So an air sign and a water sign could have came together to work together to do something. Where's those cards? Wait a minute. We got 
they have clarity now in a message. Somebody could be, uh, somebody could be a cancer. July 17th could be significant. They could be an older woman. They got clarity in a message or a letter here about this older woman here and how they join together with a main male to do you something or to cause you some misfortune or this is them joining together with this main male here. Wow. To cause a bad look out. Maybe honey, they could be coming together with somebody to do somebody something. I don't want to, and that could have been around 2019. They could have did that. Not, you know, or this is like somebody doing this to a family member or somebody, something about your neighborhood or your home or property. It was a bad outcome. Whatever they did, it didn't work. Okay. So an air sign was sending you negative energy with a water sign in the reverse or because a water sign is having problems attacking you or something like that. They really hate your creative ideas. Because you found the clear solution or something like that. What's the water sign in the reverse? So it's harder now to do something to you? Who the water sign in the reverse? They are secretly jealous of your romantic relationships. They could be a rival of yours that claim they did it first. But really they got the ideas from you because this person has a, a personality disorder. And they secretly keep tabs on you. So that they can claim credit for your success. But you're being protected by from a scorn lover. And they got to return to sender. This could have been people you rejected or something like that. An air sign and a water sign. It's like you don't even look at them like that. So these could have been scorn lovers here. That somebody could have sent towards you. Them altering your values, morals, and life and life decisions made you lose your appetite for an air sign and the earth a water sign. Whoever these two people are. You're not even attracted to them. You can care less about whatever they got going on. And this person could be secretly jealous or hating on your romantic relationships. Because you're not paying them no mind or something like that. Or they don't get none of your attention. Or you can care less or something. So, curse, no good is coming from this curse they did. So, steer clear. Somebody feel like they got to they gotta find a way now. Yep, you'll witness their karma. Somebody about to get karma for whatever they did. Wow. Yeah. Because now they are hexed. Somebody hexed themselves, a rival. Oh, my jeez. They're getting karma for causing chaos in your love life and connections. So this hex, they getting karma for. Maybe they hexed your love life or connections. And they getting karma for this. For causing this type of chaos in your love life or connections. Causing chaos in your love life. Yeah, so they are no longer... Watching you no more. Yeah. Because somebody already knows that somebody's just trying to claim credit for your success in life. Or somebody want to claim credit for something. Yeah, they're no longer going to be watching you anymore. Whatever that is. Why? Okay, I said why. Because your ancestors and your spirit guy said these haters are just mad because you're winning. And they can't cause you to have, act emotional or come out of character. They're mad about that. So they're not. Wow. So they're being exposed. So they're not watching you no more because people are talking about them behind their back. How they tried to block your heart chakra because that would have lowered your self-esteem about yourself. This is another, like, some weird energy. The curse, I guess, was supposed to lower your self-esteem so you can take scraps because that's what they are. Whoever that water sign and that air sign was, scraps or some shit. You don't want that? <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. So, or, yeah, so that you can take lesser than you deserve or something like that. 
child. So your spiritual team said that these people have very low vibrational energy or they're very have low self-esteem because their heart chakra is blocked. From talking about you behind your back. They will not be watching you no more because them causing this type of problem. Oh, wow. No. Hmm. So your spiritual team said that from them trying to lower your self-esteem, you, in turn, blocked your own heart chakra. So now you have issues with affection. And it says empathy, healing, and love. So you don't have empathy for a water sign or air sign at all. You're more focused on mindfulness and nourishing relationships that are healthy for you or something. It Something blocked your heart chakra. So they're getting their ass whooped now because you don't love the same. They just wanted you to stop being so beautiful. So it could be two females, that water sign and the air sign. They could be two women. Somebody wants you to stop being beautiful or magnetic. All it did was affect how you love now. So you're not as giving either. You can give a care less and they like, oh shit. That's not what I wanted to do. They was trying to lower. You can't do both. This is that energy of somebody doing work on somebody and they wanted the best of both worlds. They wanted you to be extra giving and still be low vibrational and sad. That's not how it go. Somebody wanted you to be like overly giving what I'm saying and still be low self-esteem like made you feel like because maybe that was what, the, what they wanted. Makes you feel like, oh, well, if you don't give to me, then I'm not going to be around. Or you, so you would feel obligated to give or over give anything, emotions, time, effort, energy, money, whatever. And all it did was made you completely like affect you how you show love now. I told you. So this is definitely got to be two hating people. These are people that hate your body and your exercise routine. Because they are jealous of how they, how you look. This person is their own worst enemy. Just because they was, they did, like, that was not the plan, by the way. That's why they said they their own worst enemy. A fire sign that was sending you negative energy. They their own worst enemy. This person was a narcissist. This person didn't see how it was like, it's like they, they sabotaged themselves in the whole plan of how to do something. They sabotaged everything. They like, oh my. So is somebody going to try to reverse it? How are you going to reverse that? Because you're too busy being mindful of manipulation. Somebody could have told them, I can help you reverse it. I can get them back in their feelings. So their karma is for you to be closed off emotionally. And give a care less what happens to whoever these people are. You're only going to care about the things that you want to care about. And that's crazy. That's wild. Okay. <laughs> From going to caring about every single thing and whatever. To you being extremely selective. That's wild. And you still super confident. And you still. It's like. They like well alright well I ain't going to talk to you. Okay goodbye. They're like, what? <laughs> Wait, you were supposed to be like, oh, no, I need you in my life. No, goodbye. I can find somebody else. So many people. You. So what about marriage and relations? You know, well, you know, 
I don't like no whips and chains and you can't tie me down. But you go with your loving on me, baby. Energy. <laughs> That's the energy somebody on. Okay, and they like, what the f like, no, we got to rewind this shit. We got to do this over. This was somebody like, no, 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 no. So somebody like, how? Trickster, be careful of being manipulated at this time. They like, how? How are we going to do it over? Like, the fuck, yo? Like, somebody saying that to somebody, yo, I swear to God. What's this trickster? Because they you staying away. They, somebody, listen. They got to be high. This person need to be careful to overindulge in alcohol because you are too protected. And this person is about to really be playing the victim here. <laughs> and they're going to be trying to take a million spiritual baths because they turned everybody. Everybody turning against them because they lost the energy source. <laughs> but they set you free in the process. Ain't that crazy? They lost the energy source for the whole thing. Everybody involved. And then on top of it, it literally set you free. <laughs> oh, that is egg on their face. You have more freedom now than you ever did in your entire life because you could care less about what happens to anybody that does not serve your highest good. That's wild. That's wild to these people. <laughs> we got toxic. And that's not what they was wanting to do. Baby, this person feels hella insecure right now. Hella vulnerable right now. Because they know you ain't going to pay them no fucking mind now. They know it for sure. So, somebody about to blackmail somebody. Mm-hmm. Because that's not what the fuck they said. They was hoping you would be dealing with insecurity. <laughs> yup personality disorder they was hoping you'd be dealing with insecurities and personality disorders so somebody is, is like I don't know man I don't know what to do these people well what you can start with is taking a spiritual bath okay somebody definitely this person with a personality disorder they gonna need to take a spiritual bath because people are watching them because they may have been saying they could do this. They was going to be able to do that and all that cool stuff. They need to take a spiritual bath. Yeah, because their amethyst is no longer working. Neither is their black obsidian. Because your gifts, whatever somebody did, y'all, your gifts has amplified. Whatever they did, they, they may have not known that. Okay, I don't. it depends on your zodiac sign, I'm guessing. Like, did they know that if they did this, if they pushed the envelope that you would turn into this? It's like somebody see you as being, like, transformed because nothing is it's something they like, yo, <laughs> they got to take it. Look at this. This is spirit. All this spiritual shit right here. Somebody having a, they don't know how to be themselves here. They need to take spiritual baths. Amethyst not working. Uh, when it comes to insomnia, nightmares, and everything else that they going through. And neither is black obsidian. Okay, because they can't keep calm. Because your energy, your psychic abilities and your gifts or whatever this is, spiritual gifts that you have, you always recharge your energy because of your own mate. So maybe somebody thought it was bracelets or crystals or something that was recharging you. They find it out that it's not that. You really have like real gifts that recharges your energy. And this person thought that they'll be able to steal your ideas by talking hella shit about you. But you was uh, shielded from any problems with technology. How uh, a technology has effects on the body. You're being protected from that. And they, they know they've been watching. They've been watching. Yeah. Because they even had everybody been watching to see what's going on. Because you were supposed to be in a whole nother energy. And they don't understand why or not. Somebody needs to be careful of manipulation because you're not toxic. So somebody can be very hella insecure right now because they don't know who you are. Personality disorder. All right. Which personality is this? Maybe you have different personalities. They like, what the fuck personality is this? They showed up. 
All right. They all they know that they need to take a spiritual bath because something not working for them. Water in the reverse. Well, well, what do we have here? Water in the reverse. What do we have here then, spirit? I don't know. What? So what do we have here? These haters that was recruited, a copycat that recruited haters. Somebody, these haters see that you're not having any delays. Okay. So they like, well, well, what do we have here? A copycat that was recruiting haters. They see that you don't have any delays around Mercury retrograde when it comes to your career and money. So right now they're spreading rumors about an earth sign that was sending you negative energy because they was doing a lot of black magic on you and they could have had an unexpected freak accident because return to sender. It could have been a dark entity that they was using. It didn't cause you to miss any opportunities. They like, yo. They never experienced this before, experienced in a reverse. Nope. No, that you didn't miss no opportunities. You cut, you got them all like on some Pokemon shit. Even though they tried to hold these friends is holding a grudge against you, just because your energy is clear and you don't, you don't, you know, somebody was holding grudges against you because you didn't miss any opportunities. Okay, maybe they was trying to, they was the recruited haters to insert here so you can miss an opportunity. You didn't. Yep. So these energy vampires, you didn't miss any opportunities. And the energy vampires know that you're paying attention to anybody from your past returning to your life. So these could be people from your past child. They need to chill out. They all got to relax. It's a whole different ball game, sweetheart. This ain't that. Somebody is no longer caring about shit like that. The energy of all of them is looking like, yo. So like I said, back to the energy that they need, you don't have it. They try to play a game with you. They get played. It's like, what? Did they just play me? Yes. And it's weird because how? They really need to make it make sense. They and they know you're, okay, so you're beautiful. You're attractive. You got a lot going on. How the fuck you going to play somebody like that? That's wild. You can't play somebody like that. There's nothing that you can say to somebody like that. Well, I remember when you was 12. Yeah, okay. So I remember when you was 12 too. And what, what look, look like you still in the same position. So you're playing yourself. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's, it's not even a comparison at this time. You have outsmarted the, uh, uh, the energy vampires. And you could give a fuck less. And you being very aware. You don't care. Nobody can force your hand to do anything. These people... Hold absolutely no weight. Ex-friends, family members, whoever the fuck these are of y'all's, okay? They hold no weight in your re in your actual reality. This is strange. Yeah, so I feel like these energy vampires, they know that they're cursed. For hating on you. And your creative ideas, they got fucked up. They curse themselves. They their own worst enemy. I cannot... These people, you being aware of the people coming back from your past, something backfired. This entity, they was using a remote view you. It backfired on them. Return to sender, the entity that they was <laughs> using to try to remote view you. They was posting. So now they feel like, all right, well, that didn't work. Let me post something directly towards you to get your attention. But they are nobodies. Do they know what that mean? Like nobodies. Like, do they understand that? That's some strange energy there. So they feel like they curse themselves because they are actually nobodies. It's like security, can you can you take them away? Thank you. Like they're like literally nobodies. And your security is your spirit guides. Security, can you just Okay? And they you actually hurt in their feelings. <laughs> they like, well shit. You know, get a get go get a grip. Like, why would you even think? Like, this is some strange shit. That's strange. Escape. Yeah, you you got away from a fake spiritualist. Or a fake, a fake spiritualist is trying to escape now. Because they're having unexpected body whelp scratches and bruises. 
for trying to claim credit for your success. Because they wasn't, it was, you did something by yourself. These people don't like, that's another thing, energy. They, nobody helped you with anything. These people was too busy talking shit about you. And now that you somebody, they want to claim something, they're nobody. All they can ever get is be talked about and laughed at in a reading. They're nobodies. When are they going to realize this? Like, I hope they get it now because the energy they want to take from you, you don't have it anymore. So go find somebody else. That's the energy, y'all. They need to go find somebody else to suck off that energy because you can care less. We got fake spiritualists that was watching. Even though you had cut them off, they was watching you still and they know you're hella protected. You done protected yourself to the umpteen power. So these people, these are the kind of people that can't affect you. You cut them off. A fake spiritualist or somebody's cutting a fake spiritualist off. Cause, and they're trying to escape something now. They was watching you. They're mad you're not paying them any mind. Blah, blah. A fire sign that is allegedly uh, sending you negative energy. Your significant other, you could have had a significant other that was a fire sign that's mad that you don't pay them any mind. So they were sending you negative energy, fire sign, but you're, they know that you're protected from them in every way, shape, or form. So now they're about to blackmail somebody's significant other because, like, what the fuck's up? Why did y'all say that? This was a bunch of dead weight, whatever they was doing. Yeah, because somebody significant other claimed that they did something to you. It, they realizing that that was a lie. Like, yeah, I had got some of the energy a couple months back. Yeah, it was, you know, lying and shit. Or somebody could even lie and say they was your significant other. Saying that they did it first, but you was protected from this person. That's why they're playing the victim now. Because they lost. It's like, ugh, child, you've been cut the cords of these people. So the only way that this may have worked is if you were still energetically attached to this person's or something strange like that. And it's just not there. Even energetically, you cut the cords. It's like, you know, we could have been, it's not even in your thought pattern or, <laughs> oh, I miss you. It's not even in your vocabulary. And it's like, well, shit. I mean, but they did it themselves. Somebody did it. Somebody did it first, right? Ain't that what they said? Somebody did it first. So whatever energy somebody was trying to do, somebody had already did that shit. That's why it don't work. <laughs> or it's something like that. It was like, oh, all right. This is strange. People are very strange. Very strange energies here on this planet. I swear to God, y'all. <laughs> They'll do anything to get a react. I guess for the energy. But I feel like somebody's realizing you don't have that energy no more. You're lovey and, and nurturing when you feel like it. it. It's not a, oh my gosh, little puppy, oh my gosh, oh, a tree, oh my gosh. No. That's exhausting. I remember used to being like that. That shit was hella exhausting. I remember overgiving. That was hella exhausting. <laughs> I'm done. I, I was done. I hit the bell and I just was like, yeah. They, somebody don't like that yeah energy from an empath. That, so they didn't know empaths can get to that and still have an open heart chakra for the things that they need and block it for the things that they don't. They didn't know that, that that can happen. Well, now you know, you know. Yeah, because they've been doing a hell of a lot of love and lust spells and it ain't even working. Right, you ain't you supposed to be climbing up the walls for some for, for some strange baby. You don't want you like whatever. They like what the fuck. <laughs> you don't want none of this toxic D. No. <laughs> they been doing a hell of a lot of love and less spells on you, Earth Angel, and you like yeah. Your destiny is safe, Earth Angels. Expect positive changes, L. <laughs> Cause you walked away from a karmic. See, they salty as fuck. They aren't. <laughs> Cause they never thought that you were getting your north node. Child, I'm cracking up. I, I and uncle is salty. 
This man don't got a beard. An ex-lover here. An aunt, uncle, and an ex-lover is all salty. Because they be doing a hell of a lot of love and lust spells. And you were protected from everything because you're in this earth angel energy. And they see, yeah, uh, and they see you going through a body transformation, getting fit, and they know you're not dumb. They know you know what's going on. You're not no longer oh, okay. So you're no longer tempted by the flesh. Surprise. It's like, oh, you look good, but mm, okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's nice. So that means that somebody lied to them because they told them that you was tempted by the flesh and you was you was over sexual and you was it's now somebody believing some shit you done said because you could give a fuck less at this time. And they can't believe that shit. Hmm. That's something. So my grandpa on a new moon. This man or woman got short or long hair. It could be an Aries. They really regret going against you now, collective. Because somebody about to go shoot this man with a beard. Because they feel like they're never going to reach their north node now. Or they can't up disrupt your north node or something. You about to get a pay raise. Or they can't touch or affect your north node. You about to get a pay raise. The energy vampires had a freak accident that they cannot heal from and they will not be using none of your energy to heal from it. Sucks to be them. I mean, maybe this is why y'all ancestors told y'all to back off because you didn't know that you changed somebody's whole body makeup. Somebody already did it before. So if somebody, this is double jeopardy. Like if somebody already did something one time, you can't, you can't do it again or you can't undo it or something like that. Somebody want to undo it now and it's like, they want a shot at talking to you, at least getting close to you or something. And it's like, yeah, you know, something like that, yo. So my ancestors told them to back off. Just go ahead. They didn't listen. Yep. Yeah. Somebody was doing all types of beauty spells on you. Didn't work. So my nephew was sent, no, you protected from all evil, Libra. They like, this some crazy shit, honey. Yeah. Somebody can have a black, red, um, orange, purple, blue, or green or gray car. This man has a bald head or deep waves. Somebody know you protected from everything. He want revenge on these people now. Some A Pisces daughter or somebody's daughter could be a Pisces. F and D. DF, first, last, middle, initial. Maybe because you were somebody's divine feminine and they trying to, I, like, there's somebody, it's like, so is somebody coming towards you on a adult type time before they try to do these love spells? Or are they doing a love spell first and then trying to soften you up or something? Why they just don't, you know, why they just don't do what they got to do? Maybe talk to you like regular? I don't think there's no other option. Somebody need to figure this shit out. There's no other options here, darling. Somebody going to have to figure something out. And if they're not trying to talk to you regular and treat you with respect, then they just need to just stay away. It's kind of hard to take away somebody that know they know they worth. You can't take that from somebody. That's just period. Yeah. And maybe somebody boss Queen Petty. Because you protect her from all evils in every form, though. Like, ain't, ain't you single? Man, listen. Yeah, somebody losing their mind. Or something like that. Because everything is backfiring on them and everybody they work with. They not as strong as you. Monday on 11-11, everything backfired on people. They not as strong Monday and Tuesday. They not as strong as you. Okay? So... The shit that they was doing to you, they could never live through. Like, they like, look, can we renegotiate? Like, look, can we, we figure this out? But it was all funny when it, when it, you was going through it by yourself and they dragged you through the mud and you was fucked up. Your money was fucked up. You was dead, ba down bad. Now, when people ever, the people that did it down bad, they don't know how to take it. That's crazy to me. That's wild. Something about Tuesday, somebody cousin. We got Vietnamese man or a woman. They want to talk to you about everything. They like, look, 
We got to end this. The only way we can end this is if we be honest. Something like, look, somebody, they can't take what they did to you that you had to actually live through. Somebody can't take it, man. Somebody want to talk to you. Somebody else want to talk to you. If you somebody already coming to talk to you, they want they get other people they want to talk. They like, look, I'm I'm sorry. They might want to apologize about something now. Yeah, a Nigerian man or a woman. Damn, it's a lot of people that want to apologize about something. We got H right there. So a Nigerian man or a woman, a Caucasian man or a woman, and an African American man or a woman, they all could be seven day events or something like that. The message just the message yeah they all know that balance and harmony being restored in every area of your life that's crazy to them <laughs> that's crazy all right but the group that worked against you is now looking at the persons that they worked with to go against you and how did they fuck this up that's what somebody's trying to figure out how did this happen thursday a jehovah's witness is going to feel really sorry for the pain that they caused you Damn. This is wild. <sighs> okay. So something is off for the winter. Whatever somebody was playing in. Gee. Somebody's sister. They know an Islamic man or woman want to be with you so bad. Somebody baby mom and mom. Damn. Somebody baby mom, mom and sister know somebody want to be with you bad as hell. But why are they not talking to you? Why they didn't never tell you, hey, how you doing? You know, how was your day? Like, where's the conversation here? Because I'm not, I'm just seeing a bunch of trying to behind the scenes manipulating shit. There's no authentic energy. So what's the saying? You play stupid games, win stupider prizes. This is really their own prize and shit. Have a good day.